Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for our main event of the evening. 15 rounds of heavyweight action. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Muhammad Ali is the kind of fighter who you just know has no self-doubts. Look at the way he's making his way down to the ring right now. You can see it in his eyes. Lewis is showing you that intensity that so many of the very best will display during a ring walk. Totally focused. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Ali's pre-fight talk included a lot of discussion about the need to utilize the jab. Why so? Well, first of all, he's a good fundamental fighter, and he's not a real physical fighter. So he understands where he has to be good. He knows he doesn't have, you know, great, great physical skills where he could just knock a house over. He knows he has to be good in this area, using that lead hand, the jab. A knifing jab splits through by Muhammad Ali. Ali's left now getting into the mix. It's a mighty list of power punchers that Muhammad Ali has continually faced. You got Joe Frazier on there. You got George Foreman on there. And tonight, now this power puncher opposite him. Well, you have two problems with that power. Two of them when you face Ali. One is, how do you land it? You have to find the perfect spot. Maybe catch him, pull him back with his hands down. You know, maybe time him as he's throwing a jab, but very difficult to do. And then the second problem, you have a guy that you're hitting that has a great chin. That's a well-scored left hand by Lewis. Halfway through round number one. Finish with the hook. Hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in a film library. Watchman Henry and Hank, the great Henry Armstrong, never took a step backwards, kept going forwards. Lewis is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Circle him, move, move. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Well placed, well timed combo up top. Effective work with that flush overhand right. And now he's targeting upstairs. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Muhammad Ali. Three minutes gone by in this round. 
Now that he's back in the corner and we get a close-up look, Lewis is cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that, but the fighter must be steady, the same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Listen, I need to see more calm punches, okay? Whenever he misses, come. Here we go. Round two is underway. A crushing blow up top. I don't know if he has enough time to recover. Look at this. Another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight. He's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Muhammad Ali's on the wrong end of a razor sharp hook. Wow, what a right hand from Muhammad Ali. There's a certain fire that rages in Muhammad Ali. A lot of it has to do with the Keep early days and some Keep things moving. he faced growing up in Louisville. Yeah, I mean, he's a sensitive person. He's a person that takes that sensitivity and he puts it somewhere in a place, as you said, sort of in a furnace that can burn strong. You know, this was during a time where this country was uh, not at its proudest times, the way that it behaved towards black people, towards African-Americans, and he remembers that, and he uses that in a positive way, in an athletic way, in a way where it just prospers him career-wise. Halfway through round number two. It's much too early for him to be hearing this kind of analysis, but it's true. Lewis's punches right now are slowing down. He's tired. Yeah, and I'm wondering if he's mentally tired, he's discouraged, or physically, he didn't put the work in. Watch that! Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Muhammad Ali is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Now, this is exactly what I love out of offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. A little head knocking with that right hand. Yet another big shot comes in. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Lewis is unable to beat the count. Knockout loss for him.